you know you've been down south a long time when I walked down to the lake to touch the see the temperature of the water and my first thought was oh gator oh no no there's no gators up here <laughs> don't have to worry about that Approach. Yeah, we're going over a dam. Yeah. And we learned from our mistake at Chester State Park. A in, couple parks ago. And that we should always, absolutely know our site in advance. Yes, because a lot of times they're not attended, these parks. Especially park this early in the season, perhaps. Yes, so it helps to know your park site number ahead of time so that you could just go straight to your site. Yeah, so, we made that mistake. Yep, so, but we learn and we now know it. This looks pretty. Locust Lake. I think we have a site sort of by the lake. We'll see. Yeah, we should have something like this. Say 22. Go into 37. So you can see this is another little unlevel site. So we had to have two blocks on this one. And we're not going to be able to stay unhitched because our nose is going to have to come down somewhat. So. It is what it is. So we're here at Locust Lake State Park. It's a one night stopover as we're heading up north. And yeah, it's halfway between, I'd say like Harrisburg and Scranton kind of sorta. Just south of Hazleton. Yes. And um, you can see here, so kudos to Cindy. We were leaving our last campground and she's like, we had been boondocking. So our water tank was pretty empty and we're like, oh, we should fill the fresh water tank. And I'm like, well, I think the state park's got fresh water. But it's always a good idea to travel with your full fresh water tank, not only for this occasion, but just because it lowers your center of gravity. It's the right thing to do. And we showed up and there's no water. So. Well, I thought maybe because we were coming up north that the odds of having water available at a campsite yep. was going to be extremely rare. Yep. So you can see, uh, let's go, just go ahead and take a look. It kind of sloped really downward. So. Well, you can see how far down he has to be. And if he had to go any further than that, then the, the solution would be to raise up the back wheels, correct? Yeah, and we didn't have to do that. But I've done some different stuff. Normally my chocks, if you've seen my chocks, go one on the front, one on the back. But this time, they're both in the back. I put my X chalk on before I unhitched, just because, you know, we could roll down this way. And then as it was coming off the ball, I've mentioned this before, but as I was coming off the ball, I was like this. And worst case scenario, not with the chocks and the S-chalk, but just in case. What's that? That's the brake controller switch, right? Yeah, if ever this thing started moving backwards for whatever reason, boom, I'm pulling that puppy and it's locking all four brakes. But obviously none of that was needed. But it's good to be Yeah, it's cautious. good to be prepared. So we've got 30, I think we've got 50 amp too. We're not boosting. It's also 55 degrees. Yep, 30, 50, 20 amp. Little bugs are everywhere. They're all in my... Yeah. It might be Pennsylvania's version of a mayfly. Yeah, probably. Normally I don't mind a dirty end cap. But look at all those little bugs. That's gross. It's over here too. Hopefully they're just attracted to the aluminum. Locust Lake behind us. I suspect the water hookup was probably here. Yeah, possibly. And they probably disconnected the water hookup, so. And it's pretty cool. I mean, they've got this walking thing. They've got a an exercise station there for a stepper station. I guess the exercise stations go throughout. Yep, this is a nice little path, little trail here. I've seen some bikers, I've seen some walkers. Back when I was running marathons and doing triathlons, I would have loved that. Now that I'm not in marathon triathlon shape. <laughs> I won't be doing that. But it's pretty, it's 55 like Cindy said. And the thing I want to show you, come, let's come on down this way. We'll, but anyway, this campsite is, uh, campground is actually huge. There's over 200 sites. Um, there's only one little loop of about 50 or so that's open right in now. April right now in April. But and it's just because they probably have to disconnect all the water hookups because it's so cold and they'll freeze at night. Right, so, um, but Lake, Locust Lake is quite nice. Very and few I, state parks are open this early, so we were pretty lucky to find this one. Yeah, Pennsylvania opens early because we've done April camping in Pennsylvania before. Uh, the 
you know, it's a little disappointing. You'd like to have stayed hitched, but because we had to bring the nose down so low, it um, it really required us to. The scenery is really pretty here. Yeah, it's kind of all of a sudden we're back in <laughs> we're back in winterish type thing. There's no blossoms on the trees. There's no leaves on the trees. It's not green. And so. we're also in the mountains too a little bit, but we got some fog. Makes it feel a little chillier. Yep. Very pretty. <clears throat> you know, I see a lot of comments on the internet with people having difficulty getting their weight distribution bars off. And this is the worst case scenario, as you can see. The trailer is like this, and the truck is like this. Right, so you really have to bring that trailer up in order to get that weight distribution off. Um, and it really have to raise it big time. And even then I had to pull pretty hard. So that's the only way you're gonna get those weight distribution bars off is to raise that nose really high and just pull hard. Yep. So kind of worst case scenario with the two coming in like this. So is it gonna be easy or hard to put them back on? That's It'll the question. be easier to put them on because Equalizer has that little um, lever that snaps them into place. So it'll be easier to put them on. Taking them off, you just got a reef. Okay, so you just have to use manpower. Yep. And a completely touchless system. We didn't check in, we didn't go to the ranger station, we didn't have to do anything. We just pulled in, backed in, and we're in for the night. So there's nothing better than on a chilly, foggy evening to heat up your Airstream with your oven, which we got lit amazingly easily. That oven physically knows about our video absolutely it, it is mad and is now performing but there's nothing better on a foggy cool evening than to heat up your airstream with your oven and to make yourself a homemade pizza so if you want to check out my recipe check out this video and we have the recipe linked Next day, we continued our travels north and east to our campground in Connecticut. Along the way, we stopped off at one of our favorite rest stops. So we are at the Danbury, Connecticut rest area, which is the welcome center here for Connecticut going eastbound. On I-84. On I-84. And what's interesting about this rest area is they allow boondocking here overnight. They have a dump station right down there if you do want to come here and dump or boondock and they also have some grills down there if you want to do any grilling out which makes it a very nice stop if you're on your way eastward we've done this a couple times on our way to liberty harbor yes so this is a great idea for people who are looking for an additional place to boondock all right cindy has warned me that this We've had a casualty as a result of those hideous roads. Yep, through Pennsylvania and New York and uh, talk about us. Yep, yeah, she duct tapes that one, but yeah. That's... It, the, the hinge broke. I mean, it's not like... All right, I'll be fixing that. Yep. Hopefully the, uh, ma the uh, bathroom mirror survived. So our new medicine mirror did survive the shakeup. I did duct tape it in four places, which I've been doing. One of the tape pieces at the bottom is loose. And the tape piece on the left is loose. The rest are in place, but good thing I taped it on four sides. So were you able to fix it? Yes, I was. There's two screws that attach the top part here to this part that had come undone that had come loosened so you just have to one of those screw holes is completely stripped so I wasn't able to get that one so that's probably why it came loose yeah so that just, that just we used our last hinge so we'll have to order another one yep but this will keep it going for the trip at least this will keep us going for the trip so oh, good job you know that's just life I'm disappointed I didn't have one I usually have a spare one of those hitches but the last time i used one i must have uh, not ordered another one not ordered one we'll, so. just, we'll just put that on our glitch list right yes we will perfect before we end this video check out the link below for our new line of t-shirts inspired by the international rally and if you use the discount code rock 10 
You'll get 10% off at checkout. So join us next week as we end our late spring trip in Provincetown, Massachusetts. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click to subscribe. So comment below if you have a favorite campground in Pennsylvania that you would like to share. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.